Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is Biz Kaboom's segment called Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where you get to take a look at an advertising specimen and determine whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly from a marketing perspective, and then I'll tell you whether you're right or not. A direct mail piece this time, take a look at this. This is one of those things, and I already I had to tear off to get to the inside all the tabs, but you've seen these things come in the mail. There's a there's a tab over here, there's a tab across the top, there's a tab here, there's directions that say you gotta fold and bend and take these sides off, and then you take the other side off in the top, and then on the inside is their pitch. So that's what it is. The question is, is it good, bad, or ugly from a marketing perspective? This is the outside, take a look at that. Postmaster, please deliver by, and it has a date, and it has my address there, dated document, please open immediately, and then there was some copy up at the top that I tore off, so I don't know what it says. I don't know, do you open these things? You'll have to vote and tell me whether you think the, you know, think A, would it get open, and number two, what about the message on the inside? Is it any good? Now you can stop the video and examine these, the piece, front and back, for as long as you like to make your determination. Once you figure out and think you know whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly, or you project what I think, then you can start the video again and I'll tell you what I think. So here we go. Is this good, bad, or ugly? Well, I'm gonna go with bad on this one. And, and it could, you know, borderline ugly for a couple of reasons. Number one, this tactic of using these tear off side things is getting a little old. Uh, it was and for a long time and probably still is because you keep getting these maybe once a month in the mail. Uh, a technique that people have used for a long time and has been pretty effective in doing the job that an envelope is supposed to do which is to get the piece open. The challenge with this one is, while most of these packages are set up to look very, very official, this one doesn't really look that official right from the get-go. In other words, you look at that and you go, okay, I know this is a sales pitch of some sort. This doesn't look like it came from a government agency. It doesn't look like uh, somebody's you know, billing you something or wanting to take you to court or scaring the socks off you enough that you feel like you have to open it. Okay, so a lot of these I don't think will get open. When you get to the inside, it does say urgent notice. Again, what's that designed to make you do? Uh, raise your level of concern, perhaps. Well, this package is obviously about how to get out of your timeshare. And if you wanted to get out of your timeshare, and this is the salvation of it all, if you wanted to get out of your timeshare and you happen to have gotten this far with it, the appeal isn't really all that bad, okay? It's short, sweet, to the point. And so if you are in that situation where you've got a timeshare and you've, it's just been draining you and you don't like it and you want out, and the timing is right, then this kind of a thing could work. It's not that it's good, but I can't say it's ugly either. So the master's take on this one, bad. Well, regardless of how you voted, I'll bet your marketing skills are on the rise as you continue to look at our Good, Bad, and Ugly episodes. I, can, I encourage you to continue to do so. We'll be back with more as we help you along in your quest to get more customers. We'll pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible.